Last time on Taverns and Caverns, Cat and Co, including Rogar and me, Elroy Hopkins, finally found the Orcish encampment. However, before storming the front gates like I wanted to, we all decided that it would be best to split up into two groups. We called them Team Front Door and Team Back Door. It was Damien, Nomu, and I as Team Back Door, baby, Andy Sundra, Adr, and Rogar as Team Front Door. I know, they're so normal and common. But Nomu ended up climbing the encampment wall like a sneaky cat, but almost ended up falling his epic jump across the gate. We eventually took out the guard on the wall, while Team Front Door did the same on their end. But we goofed up at some point, and the orcs were alerted, which made our awesome surprise attack fail. But it's okay, because we are strong, and we will win. I hope. Episode 20, Orcish Encampment, Part 3. Damon, you're up. You see this large, bellied, o two-headed ogre making its way towards you and Nomu. What do you do? And you still have three orcs there. Yeah, I mean, I'm just not in a position to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this dude, man. My self-esteem isn't up for it. My HP isn't up for it. I'm going for Red Cape. <laughs> he did too much last time. Red Cape. I'm 12. 12 to hit? Mm -hmm. You need 13. <laughs> You have your second attack, though. Oh, yeah. Do it. Six. That will miss. It, it, it bounced off the switch. <laughs> Did y'all see that? <laughs> <laughs> so, Damien, you just seeing this two-headed Etten charging, just it catches you off guard, and you, you aren't able to hit the orc, but you still have movement if you want to move. So, Damien, you're standing your ground, or are you going to try and move? Yeah, fuck him. It's whichever one of us hits first at this point. <laughs> Alright. We're just gonna... And then Nomu, you're up. Alright. Nomu's gonna finish this guy off. Alright. He's gonna slash at him. He's gonna let the great sword descend. Descend? That's not descending well. <laughs> uh that misses. What's your roll? It missed. Oof. Oh no. It rolled I rolled a seven. Mm, that's not gonna hit. No. Eddie R. Or unless no one wants to move. No. Okay. Uh, Eddie Orr is going to use... Let's try this again. Sacred Flame. That's a deck saving throw that they have to pass. Okay. On uh, the big boss baddie guy. Alright, so what's the... Yeah, what do I have to roll? 13? Uh, 14. Roll 3. He fails. Uh, so he'll take uh, 1d8 Radiant plus my level from the one thing. Okay. Four. So four plus my level, so eight total. Eight. All right. So the boss takes eight. And you see the radiant damage just latches onto him. And he screams out, but he's just... Oh. Being burnt by a white flame. Yeah. He looks at Eddie R. Enough of that. I will end you. Will you now? You'll be just like your friend. He raises his axe as he's ready to attack you uh, next. So... Next would be Isundra. Okay. Right. You still have your witch bottle if you want to. I know. Going. I wanted to use shatter, but I used both my spell slots. I fucked up. Is anyone like even low? No. Not really. I don't think. At least not near you. Uh, should I throw a spell? I mean, other than Eddie or out of the Rogar. Yeah, I might as well just keep using it, right? Because yeah, it's like a waste if I don't. But it's like I do more damage with. I can do more damage with um, Eldritch Blast sometimes, but it's like, I mean, I was going to try to maybe throw a potion at Rogar. He's dead. Shove it in his dead mouth. I can stabilize him when he gets, like, close to failing his death saves. Yeah, so he much. still has his All rolls. Right. So. As long as they're not going to hit him while like, he's down. Yeah. Okay. Love it. All right, so bolt. you continue your Witch Bolt, and as soon as yeah. shoots another, or her Witch Bolt's still on him, so he's getting Witch Bolted by her electricity lightning damage while he's getting the radiant burst damage from Eddie R and Murak is yelling out in pain as he's getting extremely upset about what's going on. Uh, Rogar is going to have to make a death saving throw. It's his turn. 14. So he made it one success. Elroy is going to quickly rush off. And he goes in the next tent and he finds that there's no one else in there. But the first tent, he released two dwarves and two humans, and they, they have scattered. You guys don't know what's going on. Only Elroy was aware of that. 
So as that's going on, the orc in front of Nomu looks at Nomu. And he looks over his shoulder. You're in trouble now. Big boy is here. Nomu raises his weapon. But I'm going to kill you before he does. He swings his sword down, or his axe, 15 plus 2. Yeah. 17 will hit yep. for 4 damage. <laughs> the orc that is was next to Damien looks over at Nomu because you're closer. He steps one step forward and he swings his axe down at Nomu. 13 plus 2 is 15. Miss. And you're able to deflect his blade. <sighs> the orc in front of Ediar looks at you. I'm gonna kill you. I'd like to see you try. I roll 20. Miss. Alright, because I need 21, right? 23. 23, okay. Yeah. Murag looks over at Ediar and he gl- glares at you. I'm getting tired of this magic. I've always hated magic. And he swings his great axe down at you. Four. He's got a plus seven. So, 21. Miss. All right. He swings again because he gets two attacks. And that will miss as well. And the orc, though, that's next to him, he's going to rush up the stairs, stepping over Rogar to get to Asundra. And the orc rushes up past Rogar's unconscious body, up the wall with the wings. Yeah. The one with the wings. Yeah, that mini. He rushes up and he swings at Asundra with his axe. Enough magic from you. 16 plus 2. 18 will hit. Are you flew up there? Hmm? Uh, Rogar's dead. He can yeah, run past him. He can run over Rogar. Can I yeah. step on top of Rogar and block him? <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to take 11 damage. Mm. So he sooner takes 11 damage from this orc's axe. Ah! No more magic from you. And the Etten... Looks over and looks around. Oh, which one we attack? You dummy, the closest one, the cat. <laughs> and the other head goes, yes, good point, it's close. So he takes his morning star and he's able to reach because he's large. Mm-hmm. And he swings down with his morning star at Nomu for oh, please miss. 16 plus 7. Oh, God. And his morning star does 2d8. So Nomu's going to take 4 plus uh, 5. So Nomu takes 9 damage yep. from the Morning Star, but the end has 2 attacks. Okay. His other battle axe comes down at him. Mm-hmm. Oh, I kill you with axe instead! And he swings down to try and hit you. That's critical. Oh, shit. So the battle axe is 2d8. So I rolled a 6. And then plus... A four, so ten damage, mm-hmm. plus his strength of three, so thirteen damage. Oh boy. This is power attack! And he swings down the battle axe to do thirteen damage plus the nine from the first hit. The orc next to Damien still goes though. He swings and he gets a thirteen. Red cape? Yep, red He's cape. Tripping. Red cape. Does that hit you? No. Alright, he misses completely. It is now the... It's Damien's turn. We can do this all day. Yeah. We can do this all day. You see that spin? I was cheating. Twelve. Twelve? I need a box. Twelve plus what? Or... No. So you get a second attack, though. Damien's missing hardcore this fight. I know. Get this out of here. Get this switch out of here. 13 plus 5. Yeah, that'll hit. 18, 15. So you hit with your dagger. About time, bitch. Um, right in the peck. Alright. So that's gonna be... I believe your dagger's a 1d4. Before. Yeah, plus your dex uh, or strength. You tagging red cape? Eight. Or the other one that you've been... I was trying to... <laughs> uh, so wait. 1, 9, 6, and you said my dex? Yeah. Because it's a finesse weapon. You can choose Ooh. your dex or your strength, whichever okay. is better. 11. Yeah, it'll be my dex. Oh, 7. 7 damage? What was I adding this? I've been drunk since fucking well, 2.30. I just peed, though. I All right. Better. Where'd you guys get your bidet? 
Amazon. 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 You trusted them for right. Amazon? No move. He's at the end of his ropes. So. <laughs> What's your HP at? Low. I'm down the next hit. Um, so Why didn't you tell me what it is? I can't tell you because I was already high HP and I got hit. Now I'm low HP. <laughs> well, it was just her turn, bro. Oh, well. So he grabs this guy on the back or his chest and he's using Witch Bolt. All right. He's going to blast her right through him. And I have to make a well ranged attack. You'd be at a disadvantage, though, if you're casting right next to him. Yeah. Doing it anyway. 18 to start. That's a disadvantage. That's not 20, so I'll take the 18. Hey, yep. <laughs> All right, so do your D12 damage. Yep. Oh, I'm not rolling that. <laughs> it didn't even feel right in my hands. <laughs> Seven. How does he die? I just blast right through him. I just touch his chest and just... Blast right through. Which bolt goes through the orc's chest and past the ogre or the end. The end looks down. Ooh, magic! Oh. Witch bolt. <laughs> then I say to move. <laughs> All right. Are you gonna move or anything? Um. No. All right. So it is now Eddie. Are you're up, brother? Uh. We need to end this now. Edgar goes for another cast of Sacred Flame. Alright. Uh, so, uh, Dex He has to now. save it. It was, what, 15? Uh, oh, he failed it regardless. Uh, I rolled too low. It'll be 1d8. 1d8 plus, plus your level. 6 plus 4. Yep. So 10 damage. Murad just yells out, Ah! And his chest is beginning to burn open slowly, but he's still up. He is taking a lot of pain from the Radiant and the Witch Bolt damage. His, his chest and his leather armor has basically melted away. You can see his skin is beginning to melt off. You can smell the burnt flesh. You will pay the price of going against an emissary of Solaris. Ah, fuck Solaris. <laughs> and then it is Isundra. So Isundra, because he hit you, will he make me a concentration? Mm, what I roll? A d20. Plus your uh, constitution. My modifier? Yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, That's a six plus your constitution. Three. Three is a nine, so you fail the constitution. So you can still act, but your witch bolt fizzles out. But you yeah. can... <clears throat> Who knew I was supposed to be rolling two d12s, so. though? Alright. He's in your face, though. The orc's looking at you. No more magic from you, Missy. Bitch. <laughs> I can stabilize true. him. Yeah, you can stabilize him. Hmm. Not every fight's gonna be easy. None of them have been easy. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Why, when was it easy? <laughs> Bro, I was doing it work. The kobolds, like... It's not easy, it's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So you're attacking the one next to you? I can't attack him with magic. It's disadvantage, right? Yeah, I mean, you can move away, but then he'll get an he'll attack, get attack opportunity, of opportunity. Yeah. I feel like I should just stay here and let him hit me in the face. <clears throat> um, well, no. I mean, disadvantage, I mean, it's better than... I should risk an attack opportunity and climb up back up and try to help him. Well, <laughs> I have, like, a hand axe and shit and a short Yeah, you can bow. attack with a melee weapon if you want. Mm -hmm. If you attack with a short bow, it's disadvantage yeah. again. Yeah. But it's only like a plus I mean, just, four. It's just like don't roll like trash. <laughs> wow. Well, two dice rolls. Well. <laughs> Easy. Easier, Easier said, said than said done. Than okay, man. I passed stealth rolls like three times. Well, you know session. what? Hold on, though. I have maybe sword burst I can do. Sword burst will attack everyone around you. He's the only one around you. And he just has to make, I think, a deck saving throw, if I'm correct. Uh. But if he makes it, it's no do damage. Do you have any sword burst? You don't have any spell slots left, right? That's a cantrip. Oh, okay. oh nice. Yeah. I have arms of a dar, but that's a spell slot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if he makes a dex. He has he... a dex saving throw or take 1d6. It's not like, great. Right. I'm assuming that goes up at level 5. To... Yeah. 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 Oh, God, I'm hurt and I don't know what to do. You can do. attack with your, your uh, weapon if you want. I know, but I feel like I'm going to miss. And then it's like I should just use Eldritch Blast, you know what I'm saying? Not yeah, but with your weapon, you won't have a disadvantage. I know, but I could just shoot him. I want that's him good. to die. Yeah, <laughs> he's the boss. That's true. 
And I feel like if I focus him... As long as you don't die from that one guy this turn, I can come up with I have 25 HP. And he should be fine. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> 16 plus 7, so I can hit him. Yeah, that'll hit. What are you casting? Uh, um, Eldritch Blast? Yeah, my jam. You okay. Know. Nine. Nine plus damage five. plus 5, so 14 damage. This dice be rolling the damage. Yeah, right? so the, the, the chieftain, his chest is beginning to melt open, and as he raises his, his great axe, he looks down at Eddie R. I'm not going to miss this time. And as he readies his axe to swing down, Isundra, how do you kill him? Um, he only had 9 HP, so. <laughs> We've been working on you You've been working him. I mean, I know I've kind of established at this point it's canon that his eyes melt. How do you kill Murag, the chief? The Eldritch Blast comes out. It whips by this dude's head because he tried to hit me. And I just look at him straight in the fucking eyes and I'm like, stop this bitch. And then it goes <laughs> straight towards him. And the skull face like goes inside his body. His heart fucking just stops. And he's like, oh. And then it goes up to his head and his eyeballs melt. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so as his chest is burned, his chest, the flesh is burning open from the previous witch bolt and the radiant damage. The skull goes into his body. And as the skull moves up towards his head, Eddie R can see the skull's face through his chest. And it winks at Eddie R. And it goes up into the eyes and melts out. And the chief then drops down. He starts to gurgle from his mouth. And he just drops to the ground completely dead. The orc next to him and the orc next to his sooner look over. And they glare around. And then they one in front of sooner looks at him. Or her. You, you pay for that. I'll have your eyes. You killed the chieftain. I'll melt your eyes out, bitch. All right. <laughs> It is well now done, Asundra. <laughs> NPCs. So, Elroy quickly makes way to the other closest tent to him. And he goes in, he looks around, and he frees more prisoners. Rogar needs to make a death saving throw. He made the first one. Fails the second. Okay. So, if it's in that one, he fails two. Yes. Right? yes. So I should probably stabilize him now, because I don't even want to risk it. <laughs> yeah. So he has, yeah, basically two left. Two fails. So, as... That happens. I need to make a roll. Okay. As the fighting goes on, Nomu sees the orc drop in front of him after the witch bowl and the et and's like, Ooh, magic! And he goes to lift both of his weapons up as he's readying himself. As that happens, you see this. Actually, Nomu, I'm just going to say you see it because the et right in front of you. Mm -hmm. You see this fiery bolt in the air fly through in the shape of a bird and it slams into one of the sides of the Etten's heads and it explodes leaving this large smoky mark on the Etten's head and he oh it hurts oh, my best day. what the hell is that <laughs> <laughs> and that is that was for eight damage Okay. What the hell just happened? So you don't know where it came from. You just see this fiery bird just slam into the Etten's head from the side. But you know it came from the east. You're right. Okay. So. Um, Did we just like get. Um, all right. Call it like, Sex Machina over here? <laughs> no, actually, no. This was. You'll see. It's not Deus, Deus Ex Machina. It's. A plan that would have helped you guys if you guys went into the encampment like I thought you were going to, but you didn't. <laughs> so the enemies, though, the one in front of Eddie R looks at Eddie R. You killed the chieftain. I'm going to kill your friend. So instead of attacking Eddie R, he swings down at Rogar, who's unconscious. Oh. <laughs> They're trying to kill unconscious Rogar on the ground. Find Wait. some. What is this? <laughs> Find uh, can you show the faithful on a down enemy? <laughs> on, on a, a down out, down to ally? Yeah, you can. Uh, I'm gonna use disadvantage to his attack. All right, because I rolled twelve, so that would have hit. Oh lord. Eighteen. No! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Shit.
Yeah, because he failed once. So, so Rogar failed his first. He succeeded his first day death save throw. He failed his second one. Oh. All right. So never mind. Oh. So he swings down at Rogar with his great axe, and as Rogar lies there unconscious, he digs into Rogar's chest, bursting through his armor. And Ediar can see him. He's struggling to get through Ediar or through was- Rogar's armor, but he you see blood <laughs> comes out. He's only able to do enough damage to knock his uh, death saving throw by one because it wasn't a crit, so it's not two points. So, Rogar is on death's door. You stay away from him! And the other enemy next to Isundra looks at Isundra. The orc goes, You killed our chieftain. Die! He swings his axe at you for 11. I think that will miss you. Yeah. Get fucked. As soon as able to dodge, duck, or whatever said, she Whoosh. does. <laughs> the o- red cape, the orc next to Damon, looks at you and goes, so and he swings again. Just die already. 19. That will hit. Damn, you really you want take... that? I've seen that. Roll that shit again. That's Seven better. damage. That's better. <laughs> The, the other orc, though, that? that that you attacked, he's still hurting. He's he's still on his knee, and he swings at Damien as well. Five, that will miss. Fuck him. It's me and The Ray Ray. is screaming in pain from the fiery bird that just burst into the side of his second head, and he looks around. Oh, magic hurts. Where did it come from? I don't know. I swing anyway. Kitty, die. He swings his battle axe down at Nomu. Three, that's gonna miss. Oh Second attack, four, that's gonna miss. <laughs> <laughs> so both Battle Axe and Morningstar come crashing down, and no one was able to quickly dive to the side, dodging. And that is the enemies at this point. Damien, you're up. I tell this motherfucker again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do this all day. I'm so sick. Look at this. Get another one. Don't Roll different die. What was that 8 20? plus 5? No, one on that 20, is it? Yes, that's in that 20. You crit with your you dagger. Bitch, I've had it up to here. <laughs> he poses. Short sword. The flames rear view. And then, um, you know, stuff. D- two D4s. Two, it's 2D4s. Are you using you're using your dagger because your first attack missed. And my other one, well, I can dual wield my short sword of flames kiss with my rapier. I like to. Do oh, that okay. Use your short sword then. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, so, so your short sword is a D six. Yes. So two D six plus your dex. Hmm. Fifteen. How do you kill him? How do you kill Red Cape? Kill Red Cape. He's only called Red Cape because the mini has a red cape on him. <laughs> Take his red cape and put it around his face and suffocate him. Um, so I'm slitting his throat Cervantes style. Cervantes style. Uh, <laughs> Damien dodges his next attack and comes from behind and just slits his throat. He drops to the ground dead. Do you move? Or do you end your turn there? Uh, who's after me? Me. No move. Okay. Well, you just sneak around to the back of the end. I'm gonna give you an advantage on your next attack, No move. I'm not gonna move. Has he gotten these people out? Yeah. He, oh. Yeah, Elroy's been getting people nice. out. Mm-hmm. I missed a lot. He's been, he's been freeing people from the tents. You guys just don't know because it's it's in the background. He's he's freeing people left and right. Oh, so he's the unsung hero of all this. Well, we could have just did this after we killed them all. Yeah. I just couldn't say it then because I wasn't there. <laughs> All right. So if you don't do anything then, it's uh, Nomu. Nomu, you're up. So Nomu, he's played the Witcher, so he knows how to, <laughs> he knows how to trace symbols. So he traces a sigil <laughs> in the air and says, Blade Wide. Okay. So that's, uh, that's one on that. And he's going to use uh, Second Wind. All right. And that's going to be my turn. Okay. Second win heals Nomu up. Yep. Eddie, are you're up, brother? Uh, so you just see this orc s- slams his great axe into Rogar's chest. Luckily, Rogar's armor is able to withhold this attack, but you can tell it's not going to be able to withhold another. 
Edgar uses Spare the Dying on Rogash. Okay. Touch the living creature that has zero hit points, and the creature becomes stable. Okay. So, stabilize. All right. So basically, he's he's stable. Broca. His his death saving throw is basically reset, and he's ah. Uh, why does this hurt? Oh. He starts to get up the right. Yeah, he starts to get up. So you can still move or use a bonus. Uh. Rogar was lucky. There ain't nothing I can really do. Uh, how are you doing up there, Sindra? Uh, I've got 25 HP. She but I got this duder on me. Yeah. Why don't you take care of that duder in front of you, though? I just use my action to stabilize um, him, so. Yeah. So unless you have a bonus or movement. I mean, I can yeah. fly still, so. No, oh, come get this. You got a potion? I can't get past <laughs> it. <laughs> you got a potion thrown in Rogar's mouth? No, I don't got items. Damn. Have you ever heard me buy a potion? <laughs> well, your cheap ass be throwing fucking money to the okay. church. I don't fucking know. I've boy. got a dagger and another shield. <laughs> That's it. All right. <clears throat> Uh, I guess I'll just... If I disengage, I still get an opportunity to attack it on me, right? If you disengage, it's an action. Or not as an action, but like if I try to back up. Yeah, he'll get an attack of opportunity yeah, on you. Yeah, he an action. Uh, I don't want to leave Regard down there by himself. So I'm going to just stay and put. Alright. Alright. Isundra. Okay, if... Rogar gets hit again, what happens? He gets put in a down state again. Down state again. But it starts again. over? Yeah. Or should I come back up there? Yeah. Like I feel like I might run through him and put a potion in his mouth. You can't run through. You need to yeah. fight the battle. Yeah, because there's, there's no room to run around him. I'm small. Kill him. You can You're medium size. Acrobatics is like his life. Yeah, I'm going to flip over his shoulders. And <laughs> you can jump off the wall. <laughs> yeah, psh, like uh, Prince of Persia style. Psh, psh. You can I'll jump 25 jump feet off the wall. <laughs> All right, well then, I will try to <laughs> hand axe him. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try. I don't don't worry, I'll fly and catch you. <laughs> Come pick me up. So, you sooner takes out her hand axe. Out of nowhere. It's like, right. where did that come from? It's in her bag. 15 plus 4. That hits. Oh my god. So, yeah, add your strength to your damage. <clears throat> like a hand axe 1D6. is a d6. Yeah. 1d6 plus strength. Of two. Final Fantasy Dice. Let's do this. Ow. That's F. a one, I think. F's a six. No, I don't think so. Is it? Oh. Uh, no, that's... Yeah. Because that's a four. Yeah. So, so three total? You I'm sure? pretty sure that's the one. Isn't that weird? I thought it would be the six, too. Yeah. Is there a six on here? Yeah, I think Yeah, there's so. a six on here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yes. I think it's the one, which yeah. doesn't make a lot of sense, but yeah. whatever. Um, one so plus... plus Two. Two. Three damage. <laughs> you should have just went for a disadvantage attack of like. Alright, so you take your hand axe. Fuck you! And you swing or swing it upwards. But did I miss? No. And you hit him, he goes, ah! He's in hurt, he's in pain, but he's still up. I slashed his um shoulder. But I slashed his right shoulder where okay. his weapon is, so does that mean he has disadvantage? No. Why? So if you have an axe in your fucking <laughs> arm, you even if it's just like a little cut, I'd be like, mm. You know? I think we're looking for Sundered here. Yeah, you're, you would have had to try to knock the weapon out of his hand as you're. No, action. I don't want to do that. I want to hit his arm. Well, you're, you swing up and you hit it, but it's not stuck in him. I'm like Isaac. I don't want to take the limbs off. <laughs> <laughs> they have All to right. be useful. So, Elroy, at, at this point, he comes around. He has freed everyone he can, at, this, uh, at least in the back of the encampment. He sees the ogre, he sees the downed orcs, and he goes, Oh my goodness! That's it! That's the end! He takes his crossbow. Don't worry, Nomu! I'm coming! Ride or die, motherfucker! Elroy Haskins! Damn. And he shoots his crossbow at the end. And he hits it. <laughs> for five damage. So you see a bolt comes flying through and it hits the end in the chest. And the end goes, ooh! Dude! Ooh! Alright. And I'm gonna make a roll. That will hit. The Etten. You see Nomu and Eddie, or not Eddie, or, but Nomu and Damien see another winged fire creature just come shooting out of the, uh, uh, the sky. 
and slams against the end again, doing additional damage. Damien, when did you learn magic? Oh, I can't tell you all my tricks. You know how it is. <sighs> Just wait. So this firebird creature explodes again on the end and the end begins to get frustrated. I'm tired of magic firebird. Ah! He begins to go in a rage. He's pissed. Oh, I'll shit. kill you. And that is oh Rogar stabilized, but that doesn't mean he's. Does that mean he's at one HP? One HP. He's got to get up though. He's yeah. Prone. Yeah. So Rogar is looking around. Oh, oh, that hurt. Oh, oh, what is going on? He looks over and he sees the dead chieftain. Oh. That's a dead chieftain. That is dead chieftain. Oh, Rogar, chest hurts. He looks around. Oh, he takes his uh, his great sword. He just sweeps at the legs at the orc. He doesn't want to cause too much attention because he's still hurt. He's a tackle bro. Mm-hmm. So he's uh, eighteen and a sixteen. So he's still gonna hit. <laughs> so Rogar takes his. And does 12 damage to the orc standing in front of Edyar. Rogar sweeps his great sword, and you see he uh, takes his sword and cuts off the legs at the orc's ankles, his feet. And the orc falls over. Ah! And as he falls over the ground, Rogar just takes his great sword and he just slams the blunt handle of it into the orc's face and he just keeps slamming into it until the orc's face is caved in and he's dead. Jeez, orc Jesus. goes. You hurt Rogar. Not fair. I kill you. <laughs> so Rogar ends this orc's life and he looks over. Ediar, what happened? You almost died. I had to save you. Oh, thank you. So we're friends now? Acquaintances. I think okay. we're more than acquaintances. I think we're best friends now. Allies, not friends. Best allies. No. <laughs> your actions tell me different. You saved Rogar. I will save your life too one day. All right. It is. Dragging his fucking body back to Bermuda. <laughs> Enemy's turn. The uh, and looks around and he's confused and he looks, looks trying to see where the fire bird's coming from. I am tired of bird. And he swings his morning star down at Nomu. 13 plus 7. Mm-hmm. That will hit. This is what the blade war is for. Alright. I take half. 2d8. So 6 plus uh, 3. Oh, I'm sorry, 6 plus 5. So half of that. So 11. Half of 11? Yep. Round down. And the. And runs off, rushing towards where the fire birds are coming from. And you get an attack of opportunity, Nomu. Has El- Elroy been doing anything? He just right. attacked. He's, well, he's been freeing people. Where are they at? They're running Where's away. Where's the prison right They're running off no. this way. Hey, you guys learn absolutely nothing from Daenerys. You're supposed to fucking arm the slaves and shit until they fucking fight for you. You know what I'm saying? Who am I getting an attack up to? The Etten, because he's running off. Catch the work. Get the head. Oh, that is a 16. 16? Yeah. That'll hit. Oh! Why did you roll it outside of the dice tray? It bounced, it bounced out. Oh, I was like, then you put it back in the dice tray. <laughs> Make me feel better. Um... 11 damage. Alright. So you are able to hit the end as he's running off. But the end's running off towards the others The others where the wall is to the east of the campment. He's going to make a perception. Yeah. So he, the end spots something in the distance on the wall. Further away from me, Sugo, because he's not, it's not very close. Oh, yeah. he's a cool dude, though, right? So... <laughs> The end's rushing off. I Sorry. don't like magic. And he keeps looking and he's, he looks up at the wall. There is no other enemy up there. We kill it. Yes, we kill. And then it sees that uh, Murag is dead. And he goes, they killed boss. Oh, I'm boss now. I'm boss now. Damn. But I kill magic man first. And he's just rushing towards what if the we... walls. And yeah, what if we... 
outsmarted the end instead of trying to beat him up. And, and then we could him. adopt him. Yeah, you trip. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably going to kill him. Why? You don't want to adopt him? <laughs> he tried to kill me. He's got to go. <laughs> He's, He's got to go. go. All right. Upset. So the orc next to you, he swings. Oh, you pay for that. Yeah. Yeah, you said it in the I orc voice. I got a two. Yeah. Got a two. Well, he's going to miss. The orc, though. Idiot, that's are you still scared? Next to Nomu swings over at Nomu. And that will hit. Oh, boy. Uh, oh. 14 damage. All right, half of that. Seven. All right, that's all for the enemies. Goddamn. Yeah, so Damien, you're up. Bitch, that was fucked up. Come. So Damien comes up at the orc that just attacked Nomu. That don't sound good. I didn't avenge him. Not this time. Oh, so you missed both? Yeah. Oh, Damien's lacking today. Well, hold on, because I've been hit more than once. <laughs> yeah. I haven't drank, we didn't eat. Like. How many rounds has it been? We, I know, we've been fighting all day. What time is it? While. Is Eddie or a wolf yet? I think this is, I don't know. It's probably like... It's close to a minute is the real question. Yeah. It's... A minute is six... No, wait. Ten rounds. Ten rounds, yeah. It ain't been ten rounds. It's yet. not ten rounds. Okay. We're more like all five right. or six. No move. Nomu looks at the guy who hit him, and he's going to try to strike his head off on instinct. Okay. That's where instinct came from. Well, with the great sword, he does a fat arc swing. Uh, that's going to be 20. That hits. All right. This guy's head is about to go bye-bye. Let's swing into the bush. That's not going to be swung into the bush. Um, that is five damage. You killed him. Oh, he only okay. had two HP. Hold on, watch this. Damn. Well, his head comes right <laughs> off the shoulders. <laughs> Alright, so that orc's head goes flying. Nomu comes around and swings the orc's head off. It goes flying. The end's already around the corner. The end and one other orc's left. There's only one orc in front of you, Sundra, and the end's running towards the wall. So, are you moving, or... Oh, oh, never mind. He's already dead. Never mind. Yeah. Um, well, I'm going to stay close to that, but not in attack range, so... Okay, well, he, he's forgotten about you. He's going towards the magic. Yeah, he's, like, right there. I'll just... So, you're just going to follow the end. Yep. All right. Eddie R., you're up, brother. Uh, so, there's no one... Everyone down by me is down. Yes, right? except for the one next to me, Sundra. <clears throat> yes, and you I'm... see the ends coming... Toward, from the central area of the encampment, he's going towards the wall. And if you make a perception check, if you yeah, go and make me a perception check. Nat, Nat 20. twenty. So Eddie, as you're looking, you see the end rushing, and he's going towards the eastern wall. And you also notice that Nomu is sneaking behind him, following. <laughs> and then up above, you see East Sooners with her anax fighting these orcs. Doing three but, damage. But on the <laughs> eastern wall, <laughs> on the eastern wall, you see this figure. He has, or she, you can't tell, has a green robe on with white button up going down the full chest with a hood over the face so you can't see it. But you see this person, it's a humanoid figure, doing these arm hand movements, casting spells. Let's just be a Tory ass. First of all, never mind, I'm going to wait. <laughs> <laughs> I always think I know the angel is moving before the yep. <laughs> But that's, that's, that's all you see. You don't know who it is. You can't see. Gotcha. You don't know if it's a friend, ally, but... Asundra, I'm on my way. Uh, Eddie is going to fly. <laughs> Pick me up, like a baby. Uh, there's a spot in between those two, right? Yeah. yeah. It, or yeah. no, I mean, we're yeah. together, but... I can't, like, get dropped in, in between them when I fly down? It's pretty... I don't know how narrow it is. No, you can't get... They're, like... They're okay. Just fly overhead. So you can't land? Pick me up like a baby. Like a leg drop? And boom. <laughs> yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to jump his ass. Yeah, get on, get on his shoulders. I can't do that. So you have him I mean, flanked and surrounded. Him, so you have the advantage on him. Jumping. Uh, so you come flying oh, onto the wall. That doesn't really help me. My mace doesn't do much. Eddie R swings his mace. <laughs> uh, what did my mace attack? <laughs> <laughs> she hit her funny Oh though. no. You alright? Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, that will hit. Okay. 
So do your mace damage. Uh, it's 1d6 bludgeoning. Plus my, uh... Is there anything plus my Strength. Yeah. Plus your strength. Uh, so plus three. So six, three, nine. So nine. All right, he has eight HP. <laughs> Take that, you vile creature. <laughs> so how do you kill him? Ah. Or do you kill him? Ah. Uh, Eddie <laughs> swings the mace <laughs> directly into the back with the spikes just... Into his head? Huh? Into his head? Not into his back. Oh. With yeah. the spikes ripping through his skin on the mace. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, and knocks him unconscious. Okay. So the orc Into falls Sundra. down right in front of uh, Isundra. Like, uh, I'm like that. <laughs> yeah, he falls. His like blood splatters all over my face. I'm like that dude in Little Nicky who's like, hell yeah, you can do it. So, at this point, it's uh, Isundra. Is this the only thing that's up? Yeah, only the ogre, the Etten, is the only thing left. She sees the two-headed Etten rushing towards the eastern wall where the man, or the she, or whoever, the man or woman, is standing. I'm about to mess with this Etten. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can hit him with Witch Bolt from where I'm at. Yes, you can. So I'm gonna do that. All right. Jump yep. with magic. <laughs> He doesn't like magic. Yep. Get fucked, boy. I'm gonna be using witch bolt. I'm gonna be using guiding. Or not guiding. Bolt. Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. Thou hit. Secret flame. Oh, I thought you were about to tell me it won't hit. I was like, what? Don't say that. With ten. Ten damage. Yes. All right. Ten, 10 plus. Hold up, bro. Oh, okay. Plus five. One bad. Fifteen damage to the end. The end takes a. Uh, what was it? Witch bolt. Uh, it was uh, Eldritch Blast. Oh, sorry, Eldritch Blast to into the face. other head. And the Eldritch goes, ah, more magic! And he's like swinging his weapons around. He's really pissed. I'm tired of magic! Ah! So, is he soon going to move or is she going to stay there? I'm going to stay. All right. So, Elroy's going to come rushing around <laughs> one of the tents. And he comes around with his crossbow. And he, as he's reloading it, he goes, shh, shh, shh. Elroy to the rescue! And he shoots at the. Uh, he aims his crossbow and he shoots it at the. And where do you think you're going? Stop running away! And he's gonna miss. And the ogre or the Etten is just running so quickly towards the eastern walls that Elroy shoots his bolt and he's able to, or he's not able to hit and misses. Rogar is gonna take this opportunity to slowly stand up though. Oh. Rogar is not feeling so good. Oh, he's going to reach. On this guy. Rogar looks at the end. Oh no. Etten's going towards that man over there. And Rogar's going to chug a potion. And while he's doing that. Oops, 2d4 is not 2d8. 3, 2, 5, 7 HP to Rogar. Rogar, if you can come up to me, I can heal, heal you some more. Oh, see, we really are best allies. So, uh, Rogar is going to move up towards uh, Ediar. He only has half movement because he used half his movement to get up. As that's going on, the, the man or woman in the robes on the eastern wall has both hands out and casts a spell. One, four, three, four. So as the person holds their hands out, you see at least Nomu can, because Nomu's following the ogre, mm -hmm. and everyone on the walls can see it as well. The person shoots out magic missiles, but they're all in the shape of birds, yet again, and each one just flies into the uh, ogre, taking damage, automatic damage. So, 12. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, okay. Is everyone okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> the end's turn. The end's... Oh, I'm tired of this! And he goes rushing at the towards the eastern wall, which is where the stables are. And the end smashes the morning star into the stables, and horses begin to rush he better, out of he the stables. Did he hit a horse? No, he just smashes He's, He it. better not hit a fucking horse. He smashes into the stable walls, and horses are hey, let free from the stables. And, no and it's, it's, it's wild. Every horse for itself, it begins rushing one. off. And the end 
is slowly making its way, trying to climb the wall past the stables now. All right, it is... Idiot. Damien. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Stab him in the butt. You got, you got the whole dead army over here by you. <laughs> Holy shit. Looking like checkers. Yeah, I'm just going to shoot my arrow. I don't want to get too close to him. Nine plus five. That'll hit. Ooh. He's very easy to hit. Scandalous. One king, so it's 1d6 plus three. Four. Four damage? Okay. I shot him in the cartilage. Okay. Where so the end takes the arrow, but he's ignoring. He's pissed off at this wizard or whatever's up there. Nomu? Alright, so Nomu just steps out in the open and puts up two fingers to his forehead and it aims at the Eden. Mortal Kombat 4! <laughs> Witch Bolt! He's <laughs> so gonna fire that. Uh, I'm gonna make my range. Why don't you guys ever do anything cool like that? More of you. That's terrible. <laughs> Let's see. My range attack is ugh, 10. 10 will miss. Oh, it misses. Terrible. Unfortunately. The horse is rushing out of the stables, just catches Nomu off guard, his aim is off. And he misses. Eddie R. Eddie R looking down. Oh. Did he come up there? Yeah, he, he came up. Rogar's next to Eddie R. I'll him later. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't need to be in the fight anyway. <laughs> uh, Eddie R looks at the Eddin, <clears throat> looks at his two heads, points his finger at him, aims him. Sacred flame. Also, we all doing it. <laughs> uh, he has to make a deck saving throw. Why are you trying to outdo people? Sacred flame. Two blast, failed. Bro. Uh, one d eight plus my level. Where did my d eight go? There you are. Uh, Seven. Yep. Seven damage. All right. Target gains no benefit. So the end just takes sacred flame radiant damage. I'm assuming. Yep. He takes it in the face. Yep. This poor Etten, the magic's just been hitting him in the heads each time, and he's crying out, oh, hurts. I will kill you all! And it is now Isundra's turn. Isundra just sees horses rushing everywhere. This Etten is going to start climbing this wall towards the one man. I want one of these horses. <laughs> no. So what does Take Isundra do? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that one. And what makes us feel this one will be any different? The other one couldn't walk. <laughs> it's probably its own stew right now. Nine plus seven. That'll hit. Sixteen. Oh, okay. Um. If he's very easy to hit. He's a large. Four. Un large nine. Intelligent yeah. Nine damage. Yeah. Nine damage. Ten, easy. Okay. So the end takes another eldritch blast to him, and he's climbing. He's getting smacked left. <laughs> All right. NPCs, Elroy comes around with his crossbow. Where are you going? Come back here! He shoots it. He hits for eight damage. Damn. Elroy comes around. He shoots his bolt at the back of its second head, and it goes right through it. Oh, mm. And the end just falls back onto the ground. And Elroy just looks and he looks around. What and the fuck? He got the killing. And he sees, did I just get the killing, bro? Elroy Haskins, baby! And he starts dancing. Fuck. He yeah, fucking chaos yeah. those He's man. dancing, He's dancing around. Yeah, who ride or die? Ride who or ride or die? Ride or die. <laughs> there you go. He just stole that kill, man. It came out of <laughs> fucking nothing. That's trash. So the end drops, and you guys hear people in the background. They're like, yeah! They're screaming, cheering you guys on. Now there are slaves. <laughs> Damien runs Damn. to the wall. Can I do this? Yeah, yeah. Why? What are you doing? Grapple hook. I need to see what this is. <laughs> <laughs> like, bad, like Batman out here. That is going to fly over. <laughs> no, she no. walks over to Rogar. Well, limps over. Bleeding from a dozen wounds. Rogar looks over at Nomu. Oh, you are hurt too, Nomu. <laughs> Not Rogar. How are you doing? Not Rogar uh, and company anymore. Rogar so. feels his armor, his metal plate. He goes... There is a large crack in my armor. That orc probably hit it when I was unconscious. 
Yeah, he did. Okay, I do. You got smashed. Try to avoid getting hit by axes. I'm gonna need new armor. This is not good. How it's, are you doing? It's cool, Rogar. I read the rules for you. <laughs> I brought you back. Like, he's just bleeding like a sow, man. Don't worry. Oh, I have feet. extra potion for you. Oh. We'll be best friends here. This is my last one. No, you keep it. Are you sure? Yeah, isn't he way more fucked up? Hmm? Isn't he way more fucked up? Rogar is yeah. at 7 yeah, HP. I'll just take my own potion. All right, yeah. so the rest of you go to see who the person was. All right, so as as Damon goes up the wall with an NDR flies over, the figure there in, in the green and white robes and hood slowly uh, takes the hood and takes it off and looks over at ADR and Damien and you guys see this human male black hair he's about 58 he looks over at you guys he has leather like leather gloves he looks pretty beat up his clothing's pretty tattered but he has like this this necklace on with a golden charm on it and he goes ah i am glad i was able to assist you in killing the etten I am Yaito of Earth Sky. I was a prisoner here. Fucking your friend. Yaito, get yes, the hell out of here. Yes, I'm bringing him. I am Yaito of Earth Sky. Your friend, Elroy Hafkins. He freed me. Luckily, I was able to help in time. You all looked like you needed help. Well, need is a strong word, but we do appreciate your services. And may I ask your names? I'm Ediar Dasane of House Dasane. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ediar. And hey, you? I'm Damien today. <laughs> you are Damien today? What's your last yep. name? Last name, today. It is good to meet you, Mr. Today. Why you had a wig on? No. <laughs> I never saw that wig. Okay, I'm that right. is more than a wig. Right. Show some respect. You're right. I'm going <laughs> So. I'm going to go ahead and say that the prisoners that Elroy let free, a lot of them begin to come out from behind the encampment after the battle has finished. They were afraid of trying to get into it. They're not fighters. Mm -hmm. But you see there's a large portion of several races. You see some half-orcs, some dwarves. You see a few half-elves, some, some humans. But the only one that really stepped up to try and help you guys was Yaito. Mm -hmm. So at this point, you guys, I'm assuming, gather everyone. Everyone's in the encampment. Uh, a lot of the people are coming up to you guys, and they're going, thank you. Thank you for freeing us, but uh, are, are we free to go? Is it safe to leave? Uh, your oppressors are down. I see. Get your back oppressors. to your, your establishments. Back to that tavern so we can yeah. stay the fucking... And Elro goes, wait, are you people from the, the Greythorn Tavern right outside the forest? And you see one of the dwarves... Yes, that's my tavern. I'm the innkeeper. They attacked us and took us all prisoners. They killed my brother. And Elroy goes, oh no. I think that was the, the dwarf body we came across. Oh, that was all his blood splatter all over the walls like a pizza roll left in there too long? That was insensitive. Rorgar goes, Damien, hush. What's a pizza roll? That's his brother. We don't give cats pizza rolls. So, uh, everyone else, though, looks around. What about you? Are you all going to stay here? They, they, they said they were going to trade us into somebody. We can't stay here. It's not safe. They say someone's coming with a wagon to take us all. They might have other orcs with them. You might want to get one of those horses and go. I'm going to get one of those horses. There's, about, there's only about six horses that were in the stables. One of them is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, so are you guys, what are you guys doing? Um, well... <laughs> I'm gonna go to the stable and get one of those horses. I'm gonna check the armory. Alright. I'm gonna do that too and check for a, uh, saddle. We'd okay. love to stay, but it sucks here. And, um, yeah, we have a sucks. lot of things to find so that someone, uh, uncomfortably close to us can be less of a threat. Wait, so, don't we need to some, get something from the Etten? To take back to the guild? Yeah, from the guild quest. Yeah, what you would you take? Something. We could take one. Both his heads. Like a toe? Good. Aren't those big? Yeah. Pretty big. He's a large creature. Yeah, we'll take both of them, stuff them in the wagon. But we could go, yeah, we have the wagon. As long as the camera's the wagon. 
So as you guys scout, I'm assuming you scouted the encampment. Cut his head off. You, as you guys scout the encampment, you find there's a couple wagons in the encampment you could take if you take the main road out. There is a main road leading from the encampment towards the exit of the Greythorn Forest. But you have to remember, you also came to this forest in order to find Albert and some hippogriffs yeah, no, and things like that. No, we want to go back to the Eddie tavern, R. I think, because we left our wagon there too, and then we could stay the night. Ooh, At the Greythorn was... Tavern that was outside the forest. Yeah. The dwarf that uh, the innkeeper. If they go back. Yeah, the innkeeper looks at you. It's not safe here, but all I have is my tavern. I have to get back to it. You're more than welcome to come with me if you would like. If you help me repair it, my tavern will be a home to you, free of charge whenever you're in the area. Mm, that sounds preferable. Drinks included? Drinks included. You saved my life. I appreciate it. If you help me build up my tavern again, then yes. By build up, do you mean... Like... The answer is yes. Ignore what she's about to stumble upon and say. Well, wait! We're busy. How long is it going to take? I don't know. If you're in the area for a while, you can keep coming back and help from time to time. The most I oh, have Oh yeah, that's to... fine. I'll get to it after Eddie R's tent. Alright, you guys. So... There's a lot of wagons back at his uh, tavern. Should we take more than one? There's wagons here. Well, yeah, so a lot of the prisoners are, they're already beginning to round up some of the wagons and the horses. Yeah, and they're they're horse. getting on the wagons. I already got a horse. Yeah, there's six horses. What about us? Okay. Well, that horse is for us. So, uh, Rogar looks over everyone. So, are we going back to Greythorn Tavern with the rest of people? Rogar, you need a nap. I, I do need a nap. I'm had, very <laughs> tired and hurt. I've had no liquor today, so you already know my answer. Is it going to be safe there, though? They say Skullman is coming here to pick people up. Would Skullman possibly come to tavern? That's a high possibility. True. I forgot about her. Would we be safe if all of us are together? I think we should tell the people not to go to the tavern quite yet. Yeah, we ever really safe. What do you say? What do we tell them? Eddie is still looking for a cart to use with his horse so we can carry these Etten heads. Well, Damien, we have the wagon work. at the beginning of the forest. Well, we gotta get, get the Etten heads there. I wanna go in the chief's tent. You can put them on one of the wagons that the prisoners are on. Make the yeah. slaves carry them. Yeah. Can I see what's in the chief's tent? Yeah. What's in the chief's tent? So you walking, scour. Go ahead and make a investigation. <laughs> Walk in there like there's a box. Mm, you said investigation. Yeah. 11. You scour the chieftain's tent, and as you look through the tent, you find that there is a desk, a wooden desk in there with some papers. There's a letter you find written out. You also find some gold, 10 gold scattered on that desk. Ooh. There's also a sleeping bag in that tent. And you find a dead creature lying on the ground that has been basically skinned. Creature, like yes. Damien pockets the goat. <laughs> make sure there's nothing else. Make me a nature check. See if you know what kind of creature that's lying, like a bear skin kind of thing, on the ground. Yeah. Two plus three. So know. you don't know what the animal is, but it's a large sized creature. It looks like a bear, but the head's still on it. Is it, an it has the face of an owl on it. <gasps> Rip its face off. We need to speak. What do we need? It's speak. <laughs> Guys! Actually, I'm not even over here. I don't even know why I'm still playing. I have an I have an owl bear. <gasps> Ooh, I need owl bear beak in the um, other game that I play. Don't I need owl bear? Stuff? Yes, you need owl bear. Yeah, beak. you need something from it. Guys! It's a weird rug. I stick my head out of the tent. So y'all just don't hear me, huh? Eddie, no. R Eddie R comes over with the horse he has acquired. What is with you and horses, dog? <laughs> hey, these are useful tools. <laughs> That'd be quieter than walking around. And food. Yeah. Elroy goes, what? Food. What did you find? What? What? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you guys could should come take a look because Eddie R I've never up. seen All it right. before. So Eddie R walk inside the tent. All right, make me a nature check. It's gotta be worth something. <laughs> no. I've never seen one. To you, it looks like a bear owl, but... 
You would assume it's an owl, but you're just not sure. I'm just not entirely sure. Yeah, you're not sure if that's what you need. Hey guys, I found a bear owl. I don't think it's the owl bear we're looking for. Asundra grew up with all types of animals and trees and shit. Asundra! Yes? Summon? <laughs> what am I rolling? Nature. Nature. Where's my good one? Actually, I should be over there. <laughs> Nature. Mm. Yeah, Mr. Moss Hunter. There you go. 19. 19 plus. You know it's an owl bear. That's an owl bear! <laughs> <laughs> oh! That's exactly See, what I need. Look, you guys are stupid. It has an owl head and then the bear body is owl bear. Didn't we learn that we need to get that IDR? Don't call us names. Idiot goes and snaps the beak off of it. She's high <laughs> off of fucking busting the chieftain's ass. All right. So you need you the take beak. The Albert. That's what we need. Yeah, the beak, the Albert beak. You're just ripping it off its yeah, face. Just... Oh Jesus. Yeah. Nasty. That's all put you it, put it on your hands so you can start. You know what I'm saying? I do not fight with my hands. <laughs> well, that's what my monk did. Right. So. <laughs> so that's all you find the chieftains, and then I will next session. I will go ahead and tell you all the equipment that you guys have found since we're running pretty big on time on this. So. At that point, all the prisoners are gathering up. They're readying themselves to get out of the Greythorn Forest. They want to leave. Wait, do we know who this dude is? Yeah. Yeah. He's one of the prisoners. One he introduced minute. himself. Oh, as, that's right. Yeah. Sorry. So that's how quick I forget. You see, the dwarf, about my the dwarf looks at the fun. party. So you're saying it's not safe to go back to my tavern for now? At least for now. I would There's a dangerous individual who may come back and he won't be taking you prisoner. Wait. If that's the case. Perhaps we should travel north to the Port Windrock. It's a coastal town. We might be safer there for now. What do you guys think? We have a lot of people here. We can't be leading them to more danger. At least temporarily, I would not head back to that tavern. That sounds, so your idea sounds pretty good. Let's head to that port. If we just follow the main roads out of the Greythorn Forest northward, they'll lead us to Port Windrock. Can't be too much farther. A couple of days, maybe, if we're lucky. Yeah, I would do that. Keep the uh, keep the town folk safe. Are you coming with us? No, we gotta turn in our shit, don't we? Yep. So. Very well. If that is the case, I will lead the folks here to the port Windrock. I thank you for saving us. Oh yeah, man. Keep fighting a good fight. I'll always be in your debt. I will be in Port Rock if you need me. Win Port Rock. Thanks, Firebird. Who? Bye. Uh, we'll meet again. Peace. All right. So the the dwarf he rallies some of the prisoners up, and they take basically most of the horses, but the one Eddiar has, and they get on the wagons and they begin to leave out. You can fit the Etten's heads on your horse and hold them on your horse if you want, or Rogar's. You're war like Geralt right now, Rubio, yeah. with your fucking um, heads on each side. Of as your the prisoners are getting ready to leave, the man with the magic comes over. The man with the magic. Yeah, he goes. The magician. It is a pleasure to meet you. In your name, sir. He looks at Nomu. He wasn't introduced to you yet. I, I be Nomu, the monstrous. I am Yaito of Earth Sky. It is a pleasure to meet you. Ah, well, and he looks over at, uh, did he introduce himself to be Sundra yet in Rogar? I don't no. think so. No, not he, it's, it's yet. I mean, I was like there, okay, but I don't so really know he, if he was in, talking to me. He introduced himself Elroy and uh, did I go over there? Rogar as well. That's what I'm saying. No, it was just, no, no, it, was just it was just Damien and Damien. ADR. Was, I am Yaito of our sky. I'm stupid, bro. It is a pleasure to meet you. I, I'm Elroy! I'm Rogar. Hello, I really like your magic. It was really cool. Oh, thank you. Where did you learn? I have come from a very far land, to the east. Can you teach me? I can teach you very many things. What do you like to learn? I mean, I got my powers from like this fairy guy, so can I learn from you? Five? Wait, what? <laughs> fairy guy? Yeah, so his name is Napoleon Feapart, and he rides on a little dog, is and he, he gave me powers. So he is like your deity? No. I don't pray to him. Oh. Ever. <laughs> He's trouble. <laughs> well, I can teach you what I know if you have the aptitude to learn. 
Um, my uh, my charisma is really high. Well, I saw you shot lightning out. Maybe we can learn one thing or two. Do you want to learn how to melt eyeballs? <laughs> no. Why not? Because I rather claw eyeballs out with my flaming tiger. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Same. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and Do you end. want to join Cat and Co? <laughs> okay, Asundra, yes, your single is showing. It's time to go. He's like really old, right? No, he's. Oh, he you looks made like him sound old. No, he's like in his twenties. Yeah, it's like the twenty-year-old monk sound. Yeah, very peaceful sounding. And we will continue next time on Taverns and Caverns. Thanks again, everyone, for listening to Taverns and Caverns. We all appreciate the continued support and the love that we have received for the podcast. You can follow us again at Taverns Caverns on Twitter. This is Ryan, the DM, at Haphazard DM. You can also find our players Felicia slash Isundra on Twitter at Dagger Tribal. Bry slash Damien slash Desiree at OMFG underscore I'm Awesome. Julian slash Eddie R at JW Player Zero on Twitter. And unlike the rest of us, unfortunately, Rob slash Nomu does not have a Twitter. And if any of you awesome listeners have a moment, please remember to follow, like, and or comment about Taverns and Caverns to let us know how we're doing. Thank you for listening. Until next time. <laughs>